Hi, welcome to this tutorial on linear static analysis of a torque arm. We start SciFaceOl and import the mesh file of the torque arm, which we created in Gmesh. We then click geometry link in model data tree, to see the boundary edges of the torque arm. In SciFaceOl, we can select the type of analysis, and elements from the drop-down list. Now we select the analysis settings, and add a load step with single sub-step, and then click apply. Then using the material editor, we specify steel as the material of the torque arm. Now, since we are using a 2D model, we specify plane stress condition for the analysis. Now, specify the thickness as 10 mm, with pure displacement method. Now we need to identify the boundary ID of the large circular hole region, from geometry link in the model data list. Then, from the boundary conditions command, we specify fixed condition for the large hole using the boundary IDs, which we noted earlier. After applying the boundary condition, first click on the mesh link in the model data list to activate the mesh, then click on the constraints link to display the constraints. Now, we identify the boundary ID for small hole to apply the force. Now, we apply force of 5000 Newton, on half region of the small hole, using the boundary ID of the region. Now, we solve the model. After the solution is completed, post processing tab is activated, and we can see commands to plot the results. We select vertical displacement from the list and click evaluate to plot the contour. We can display elements and nodes from the display menu. Likewise, other results such as stress and strain can be plotted. We can plot deformed shape of the model using display scale property. We can check local and global reactions in the model. With this, we come to the end of our tutorial. Thank you.